definitely raining and pouring. And if you listen closely, probably an old man's story too. So. <laughs> Hello, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It is Allison. Today is going to be such a sweet little video because we are going to be going over all of the fun items I picked out to put inside of Joey and I's Easter baskets and spring baskets this season. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys because I think um, these videos give such inspiration and motivation just to get a basket going so i am 27 years old joey's about 28 years old and we are still going strong with the easter baskets because i think they're just so fun and i love a theme and i love being festive with every single holiday so if you guys are new to my channel my name is allison thank you so much for being here today um i thank you so much for considering to subscribe or even being here to watch this video it means a lot to me so Thank you guys, and let's go ahead and get started with the video. And actually, before I get started, I wanna show you guys this fun straw that I got from Amazon. It came in a pack of, I believe, five with different colors, but it's this really sweet glass straw with a butterfly on top of it, and I think it was just really precious. So I bought a pack of those, and I think those would be a great addition to a fall, or I'm sorry, not a fall, but I do make fall um, baskets as well. But a spring basket, I think it was really sweet. And then also I got these really sweet butterfly clips. And when I was younger, I had butterfly clips rocking all the time in my hair when I was in elementary school, preschool, all of that fun stuff. But they come out with adult versions. <laughs> so I, uh, I just purchased these and I cannot wait to wear them, especially if I go to like botanical gardens or any of the gardens like that, or even just when I go to class, I can't wait to rock these guys too. So I think these would be a great addition and they came in a pack with a bunch of different colors and you can pick out what kind of colors you want as well. So they're pretty cheap and they're pretty, they're just really fun to put inside of an Easter basket as well. But regardless of my fun new purchases, let's go ahead and get started with the baskets that I have already put together. Okay, you guys, so first we'll go over Joey's Easter basket, and I'm so excited. Oh, first and foremost, if you are Joey, if you are Joey, please do not watch the rest of this video um, because I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I do want to get these ideas up for, for our friends, but please don't watch this video, and I, if you're sitting next to me while I edit it, don't watch it either. Just close your, close your ears. <laughs> Okay, you guys, first I'm gonna go over Joey's Easter basket, and it is so cute. I bought this basket from TJ Maxx, and for you guys that don't know, Joey's getting his PhD in biomedical sciences, and he has done a lot of internships with NASA. So he is my little astronaut. Um, so I did kind of a bright colored astronaut themed basket for him this year. This year, this is my first time doing one for Joey, but. I can't wait to show you guys what I have inside because it's so fun and silly. Um, for all of my baskets this year, I did a lot of, I love a theme and I love putting things together that are just visually appealing. So for this basket, I did a lot of bright colors and more of those cartoonish colors. Um, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. But the first thing that I got were these solar um, solar system magnets. How silly is this? I thought it was a great addition. I saw it at the checkout line um, when I was um, in World Market and I had to put it in there. It even has the little Artemis Artemis rocket there in the corner, which is really cute because Zo Zoe, because Joey saw the, um, the rocket launch and the rocket at Splashdown. So I think it was really fun. I can't wait to see his reaction on that. I got him some of his favorite candies. I got him some jelly beans. He's definitely a jelly bean lover. And this, these are some gummy bears. Happy Hoppers. And these bright colors just really complement each other along with the solar system magnets. See these kind of um, cartoon bright colors. I really, um, really went for that theme with this basket. Oh, I want to show you guys Joey's card that I picked up because it's so silly and cute. It's a dinosaur. This is such like a little, little boy Easter basket, but I think it's really fun. I love being festive for the holidays and he's fully embraced that too. So I'm sure he will appreciate it. And then I got him a big giant kiss. Big giant kiss. <laughs> and to fill. Oh, and how could I forget? I got 
this big old chocolate bunny. Obviously had to get a bunny. So this, again, this really bright, bright yellow against this bright purple. It just all meant or melds together and just complements each other pretty, pretty nicely, at least in my opinion. So that was Joey's Easter basket and we'll put it, we'll put them all together soon to make them like a really nice presentation, but really like all the items I found for him. And then we'll go over Joey's spring basket. So the difference between a spring basket and an Easter basket is um, the Easter basket is more, you know, the bunnies and the silliness and all that stuff. But the spring basket is really just celebrating the new season. And I really like doing these for each season. I do them for fall, spring, summer, and winter. And they're really cute. I made some really fun ones for my friends last, last fall when we had a celebration of fall little party get together so i if i have a picture i'll insert it but if i don't i can't wait to make those with you guys again this year but let's go ahead and look at joey's spring basket so this is joey's spring basket how stinking cute is this we'll go over each item in the basket but just all of it together all complimentary all like that masculine masculine color basket and the yellows and the dark tones and the you know the wood mimicked with the soap right here but we'll go over each item that I have in this basket. Okay so the first thing I picked up for Joey's basket was this Victorian lemonade. We love trying new lemonades. I purchased them a lot for my bar cart. I currently have some sparkling water on my bar cart right now but we love getting these little guys from World Market and just trying new flavors and everything like that but I really liked the color of these, so we'll try it. It has a bunch of um, very visible chunks in it, so we'll see if we like it, but I really did like the color and I think it complements the basket. And then laying on top of it, I have some scented hand cream. Joey's always using some hand cream, so I purchased him an extra one where I'm sure he will go through this pretty quickly. And then along the self-care lines, um, because I feel safe knowing that Joey isn't watching this video because I'm, so I made him sign a contract to not watch this video. Um, not really, I'm just kidding, but I got him this fun little face mask. It's a clay mask. We love doing face masks, face masks on the weekends. We think they're very soothing and relaxing and something to kind of feel like we're resetting um, from the very hard week that we probably just went through academically. Um, but this one's a hun honey puree nourishing clay mask and you know, I put that one in the back just to tuck it behind the card, but I know he'll appreciate that. And then because this is for my sweet Joey, I got this card and it says, I am grateful for you. Because even on the, um, even bad days are good when I'm with you. So sweet. I love Joey so much. He's such a sweet angel and I'm just, I'm very grateful for him. So I thought this card was beautiful and I love that the colors fit perfectly. I wasn't even um, going around the card. It just happened to be that way. So I'm very, very thankful and grateful that I found this card. Next are a few snacks. So I got this potato, potato chip bar. It's a crispy kettle cooked potato chips inside or infused with chocolate. How fun is that? So Joey is not a chocolate lover like I am, but I had to pick this up because I was curious in it myself and see if this tastes good at all. But then <laughs> also I got him another piece of chocolate, even though I'm more of a chocolate lover than he is. But this says smooth like butter with a little fox on it and it's just super cute. And it's milk chocolate with cookie butter. And I really liked the uh, the packaging and the designs of these. The colors really go well with this. And there's a, um, the sheen is really nice. And then this is more matte, but it has the fox on it. And I think this is just really cute. Um, and it fits in his basket quite nicely. Next, I included some of Joey's favorite coffee. This is the French vanilla from Trader Joe's. We love this coffee. It's a ground coffee and we use it in our Chemex pour over. Um, I measure about 30 grams out and then I um, do like 100 grams, like a one to four ratio when I'm pouring coffee, but this coffee smells and tastes so good. If you guys are in the market for some coffee or if you're introducing yourself to some coffee, definitely recommend this one because it is yummy, yummy in my tummy. <laughs> And then the last things that I have inside of Joey's little spring baskets, let's see, is this hair and body little man bar mini. I love anything mini, it's just so cute. And this one smells like cedar and saddlewood. I can confirm it does taste, I mean not taste, but smells like cedar and saddlewood, very good. And even if you don't use this bar, just putting it near your sink and or on the the shelf of your shower and letting that steam kind of collect in it and then the fragrances will just 
pop off because it just smells really, really yummy. And the last thing is super silly, but I got this desktop ski ball. How cute. So Joey has a desk when he goes to the lab. Um, I'm not anticipating that he'll put this on it, but you know, the thought that counts and I think this will be really fun. I wish I could open it for you guys, but I want it to be in all of its glory when um, I get Joey's reaction, but this is what it looks like. But yes, I thought the colors really matched well with the rest of the items in, inside of his basket. And also it's just a really silly idea. So included that guy. See, and that is the end of Joey's Easter basket and spring basket. So we'll go ahead into mine now. And it's really silly because when I was making this video or telling Joey that I was filming this video, he said, but I haven't made your Easter basket yet. And um, so just know Joey wants me to tell everybody that he's going to be making his own separate Easter basket for me. But um, he fully recognizes that these are just um, for ideas for you guys whenever you make your baskets. So that's a disclaimer from Joey that he wanted me to announce to the world. <laughs> okay, so moving on to my Easter basket, I got this guy from Trader, not Trader Joe's, from TJ Maxx. It looks like this, how cutesy. So the actual basket itself, like I said, is from um, TJ Maxx and all of the items inside are from World Market. All of the items that I'm mentioning today are all from World Market, except for this basket's from TJ Maxx and Joey's um, astronaut or space themed basket is also from um, TJ Maxx. And then of course the coffee's from Trader Joe's, but everything else is from World Market. But back to my basket, this is super cute. I got this mini cross stitch embroidery kit. I love doing these. I think they're just super fun and such a way to get, get myself detached from a screen at night. And then I do a lot of readings for my coursework. So I'm not necessarily in the mood to read uh, for leisure when I get home. So I think this is a great activity to get, get your creative juices flowing. And it's something really relaxing that you can do in bed as you're waiting for your REM cycle to kick in. <laughs> I think this is a really good idea for people that um, maybe just starting into arts and crafts or DIYs because it's also mini so you don't have to set this huge goal that I'm gonna finish this in a month you know it's just it's just really tiny so it's definitely an achievable goal and something that's just really cute at the end and you can display it no matter um, or wherever in your house I think Last summer I did one of these and it was a pineapple and it was super cute. I have since lost it, but if they come out with that print again, I'll definitely be remaking that because I really liked how that one looked. Okay, so next in my little Easter basket, I have this um, set of popcorn. It's called Moose Munch, how silly. It's a little premium popcorn. I've never had this before. I solely bought it because I loved the color of the packaging and I think it complemented this chocolate um, that I'll show you guys here in a second, but Hopefully it's good. It has, what's it? Rich chocolate, crunchy nuts, dried fruit, and other delicious combinations. So I'm sure it will be delicious because, you know, look at the picture. It just looks good. <laughs> and then with that, I got um, myself a little chocolate bunny as well. I went with the more gourmet chocolate because I am a chocolate lover. I love it so much. So um, sorry, Joey, I got, I got the fancier chocolate for myself, um, and knowing that I'll probably eat it all in one sitting and you'll probably take three weeks to eat yours, but either way, got a chocolate bunny. And then the last thing inside of my Easter basket is this Neapolitan chocolate. How fun. I've never had this flavor before and I love this brand. I love their milk chocolate. I love their caramel flavors. So when I saw this Neapolitan, um, flavor in this really pretty packaging. I had to pick it up so we could try it um, whenever Easter comes around. All right, you guys, in the last basket I have to share with you guys is my spring basket. I'm so excited about how this guy turned out. I think the colors are beautiful and all the item items inside are um, super precious and cute as well. So let me, let me show you guys. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Look how fun this basket is, you guys so cute i'm loving all of the colors it just all pulls together nicely and all of the items inside are super cute as well so i can't wait to share with you guys what i have put in the sky so the first two things that kind of inspired all the color palette of it all were these face masks i really like face masks as i said i put some in joey's bin as well but i picked some up for myself 
This is a coconut vanilla bean strawberry almond milk, and this is a blueberry coconut milk. Super cutesy. Again, I love the packaging of these. I think it just really inspired the rest of my basket because as you'll see, I picked up some more chocolate for myself and this is the spring collection from World Market. Super fun. And this has fresh mint, white gyro, rose, rose tea, rose tea, lime and coconut, peanut butter, sea salt, and pecan caramel. How cute. I really liked the color of these just against the face masks. Super precious. And along with those chocolates, I picked up some dark chocolate espresso. This is just kind of a chocolate bar. Super fun. Really liked the packaging of this as well. I think it just really ties everything together as well. All right, and then for my iced coffees, I found this really precious cup. It is this really cute glassware with these daisies that go around the sides. Really fun, really cute. I picked up one of these with hearts on it for Valentine's Day. So I really like um, really like that they came out with this style. So I had to swipe it up to put it inside my Easter basket. And unknowingly, I would find this really precious headband that would match it really well. Look how cute this is. So I thought this headband would look really cute against my blonde hair, but I love wearing headbands, especially in the spring and summertime, whenever I'm going to the pool or working out or wearing a really fun dress or even an outfit like this, I would totally rock it with. But I'm really excited that I found this and the cup. And then you guys, it just gets even crazier because I found this flower pot uh, bath bomb. How precious. I have never used a bath bomb before, so I'm hopeful that it will be all of the relaxation dreams that I can um, think of, but I really liked this. And they just all tie together all of these floral themes. And then to go along with this, kind of the middle to tie in this orange color is I got these little, um, what are these called? Kind of little nail stickers. I have one on my finger right now with a butterfly on them and I love them. So I got a pack with little rainbows and daisies and the flowers that kind of match the cup and the headband. But I'm excited to play with these guys once, once we get a little bit closer to spring or I'm sorry, summertime. And the very last thing that I put inside this basket is an elderflower um, infused drink, I believe. It's kind of like a sparkling soda, just like what I put in Joey's basket, but I'm super thrilled because it's super cute. I'm really into sage and light greens right now, as you can tell by my shirt and by the blank behind me, but that is the last item inside of my spring basket. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love putting these guys together, so hopefully um, we can make one together for the summertime and definitely the fall and absolutely for Christmas. So again, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting on all of my videos. It means so, 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 so much to me. You guys have just been outpouring or have been outpouring with support and I've just been appreciating it so much. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.